Okay, this is a tutorial on how to multi count or unban your hardware from OSU. So, first, I'll go about cleaning your OSU. So, first, go into find your OSU, open file location right here, and go ahead and make sure you have hidden items on. First of all, you click view, show, and hidden, hidden items. And then highlight everything. Highlight all the files. And then you can keep your skins and songs if you want or whatever else. But go ahead and then click data and logs. This is what I like to do. Then I'll just delete everything else. Or keep everything else. Okay, once you've done that, go in your reg edit on your go here, reg edit. And then you're gonna basically like look for this path. So computer, current user right here, and then software, and then find OSU. And then you're gonna wanna change a few um, letters and numbers in your ID. So let me do that right now. Click OK when you're done and close it. And next, what you're gonna do is go inside of the guide that I, that I gave. And then, so first of all, go ahead and read all of this. So basically, all you do is take one of these and drag it inside of this. So go ahead and first save your serial. So open this and take a screenshot and put it somewhere so you can see what whatever uh, changed or if it even changed. That's how you're going to know if you're good to spoof or open OC. Okay, so let me explain what these do. So when you manually uh, change your hardware ID, like with um, with like DMI edit or anything else, adding AMI, doing whatever it's called, you're only changing like your motherboard, your CPU, stuff like that. It, it'll never like spoof your disk drives, which is a big thing in like OSU. And it's one of the main things that like gets you banned after one play, like the one play auto ban if you're like already restricted. So these are going to like spoof it. So this one, it'll just change it to like a random set of numbers. This one, it looks a little more legit if you know how disk drives are supposed to look like the serials. And then this, I like using this one. It like completely blanks it out. So It'll be good, like if since you have to like inject this like every time you boot your PC up, um, it won't like change over and over. Like with these, it's gonna be a different serial every time you inject, and that's not that good for Osu because it might see it as a multi account sort of. So I would recommend using like this one. It'll be inside of here, but yeah, and then this one, it'll spoof all like all the serials in the spoof checker it'll spoof everything i don't like really using this because again if you have to boot it up every single day some of the serials are gonna change and you know it's like a multi-account basically so only use this i guess if you're like a cheater and you don't care about getting banned or potentially getting banned but use this one so i'll do it right now strike this in here actually i'll just use one so you can see the serious change i'll do this one so drag it in here that'll pop up and then check and you see it's changed so you spoof only your hard drives and then let me do it again so that'll happen every time you boot your pc up so okay that's done now you have to spoof everything else and that's where the guide will come in. You basically go to this link in the download and look for which method you have first. So if you have like ASRock, uh, Gigabyte, MSI, you'll use DMI edit. And then if, if you have like an Asus computer, get something else. And that's in the, in the guide. It'll show you how to spoof like your CPU, motherboard, BIOS. Just do that and then come back and do this for the disk drives and you should be set. 
now basically that's it all you got to do is make an account now so let me go ahead and turn my go. vpn on oh yeah and i for forgot to mention like flagging just read this it tells you like what to watch out for flagging because you'll be flagged if you use this method and if you don't want to be flagged then you gotta find a way to spoof like everything listed here and i linked a spoofer that does that so check that out if you don't mind paying make sure you get tmac and spoof your mac address as well so now all you got to do is reinstall osu so i'm gonna do that right now gonna go do the whole setup i'm gonna pause and unpause when it's opening I forgot this game is always loud every time. It's just loud. Okay, you can go ahead and register an account now. Make pick a random name. Okay, I made my account. Let me log in now. Okay, fresh account. Now I can I should be able to set one play without getting banned or anything happening. Remember that since you just made an account, try not to get like above 20 PP plays like in the first day and try to at least get like 500 play count and at least have your account up for like one month before you start setting like 100 PP plays or anything. So on your new account, just farm play count like constantly at least get above 500 play count. So in the meantime, like try to click with your mouse buttons or something, like pretending to be new. I mean, yeah. The place just submit. I shouldn't be done. Yep. I'm good to go now. And that's pretty much it. Now you're set.